Good morning, you guys. It's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Welcome to a, another spring decorating video. We are not decorating yet. We're going to go out to just a couple of stores. I'm not going to do like a full on shop with me. It's just going to be kind of browsing at different things. See if we see anything that we like. I don't really need a lot. Uh, but just to kind of see what's out there, we'll probably run to Target and at home. Um, actually, I already ran to Hobby Lobby. I did get some clips in there. I got a lot, but I'll just try to pare it down and show you some of the things that, you know, just to give you an idea of what they have. And then if I buy anything, we'll do a little haul when I get back. I also want to share a really yummy, well, I'm hoping yummy. This is actually the first time we're trying it, so I'll let you know. But it looks like very good comfort food, and that's making a chicken pot pie, but we're going to use homemade biscuits um, instead of a crust. So we're gonna try that today. And yeah, it should be really a really fun video. I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're gonna head out to the stores and see if we find anything. I also have to stop at the grocery store. I have a couple things to pick up. Oh, I also want to put the chicken in the crock pot so that it can be nice and shredded by the time I need it when I make the chicken pot pie later. So let's actually go do that and then we will head out. I bought this at Target the other day. I love this. I put my dish soap in this. I mean, I think it'd be perfect also for a bathroom, which I think is what it's intended for, but I think it just looks beautiful. And I've gotten the automatic soap dispenser, uh, the simple human one from Amazon, and they just pair nicely together. So I highly recommend this. I just think it's beautiful. And I like that it's like brass. It's not like yellow gold. I will have this and the simple human um, soap dispensers linked down below. Okay, so you guys just saw me put my chicken in the crock pot for my chicken pot pie with like a biscuit crust. So I'm really excited because we'll make that together after I let the chicken cook so I can shred it easily. But I think this is the perfect time to share with you the sponsor of today's video and that is ButcherBox. I feel 100% confident in sharing ButcherBox with you because we are paying customers of ButcherBox. We have been using it for a while. So when this collaboration came underway, 
I knew that I could confidently share with you how much we absolutely love the high quality meat and the convenience of it being shipped right to your door and be able to share that with you with confidence and tell you how much we absolutely love it. With ButcherBox, the quality is outstanding. You're getting top-notch beef from animals raised without hormones or antibiotics. You're getting a variety of cuts from beef, pork, chicken. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a lot of us have had those nights where we're like, what am I gonna make for dinner? Usually if I have meat or something, I can put together something. So having all of this in my freezer, I can just pull out what I want in the morning and I can usually come up with some kind of a dinner without having to run out to the grocery store last minute. Butcher Box also offers transparent sourcing. You know where the meat comes from with transparent and traceable sourcing information. All of the meat is high quality meat and seafood that you can trust. So you, whether it's 100% grass-fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork that is raised and crate free, and wild caught seafood. Everything is humanely raised with no antibiotics or added hormones ever. You get it delivered right to your doorstep and it's always free shipping. So in one of my previous videos, I will link it up here, I made some beef tips. These were the most amazing beef tips ever and the recipe turned out so good. They were so tender, so juicy. So you have the option of doing two different boxes. You can do a custom box or you can do a curated box. We usually do the custom box just because we can pick what we want. However, this time with this box, with this collaboration, we did a curated box, which is really fun because this is meats that are hand selected by ButcherBox for, and sent to you. And it just really is a way to explore different options and different types of meat. Like I chose the chicken, beef, and pork box and in it I got these St. Louis style ribs they look amazing that is probably not something I would have ever bought so it's fun to be able to explore different recipes and try different things so I'm excited to make those so you can get the custom classic box it's $169 per box it comes with 9 to 14 pounds of meat and approximately 30 meals or you can get the curated classic box, which again is what I got here, and that was $146 a box. So you get eight to 11 pounds of meat, and, it, and it's approximately 24 meals worth of meat. You can use my link down below to choose between chicken thighs, ground beef, or premium steak tips to receive free in every box for a year. So that would either be three pounds of bone and chicken thighs, or two pounds of grass-fed and grass-finished beef, or one pound of grass-fed and grass-finished steak tips that you would receive free in every box for up to a year. So again, I felt so confident in being able to share butcher box, the convenience, the quality is next to none. So thank you again to butcher box for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check them down in the description box. All right, so now we're going to get on with doing the shopping portion that I'll share with you anything I decide to pick. I ran over to Home Goods, but they don't open for 10 more minutes. So right next door is Target. So I just wanna run in there really quick, see what they have. I'm still working on my entry room makeover. So I just wanted to see what they have and then we'll run over to Home Goods really quick. And that might be all the errands that we do today. We will see, but anyways, let's run in Target and see what we can find.
So I am back from my shopping excursion. I went to the grocery store, I went to Target, and I went to Home Goods. and I'm gonna give myself a big pat on the back because I walked out of Target with nothing. Um, I did show some clips of some things I really liked. They had a couple of the preserved wreaths that I think are beautiful, but I don't need them right now, so I didn't pick anything up. I am looking for a lamp for my entryway makeover, but I just can't find anything that I love right now at a reasonable price, so I'll probably keep using the lamp I have for now, but I'll eventually want to change it out. But anyways, that's what I was looking for. Um, but didn't find anything that I loved. So then I went over to Home Goods and I found a couple things that I'm really excited about. So first things I'm gonna show you actually, the other day I went to At Home and I picked up four of these Magnolia stems. Now, these are the most realistic like stems themselves that I have ever seen absolutely ever seen. They are so beautiful. They were $7.99 a stem. I like that I bought four of them. I like that they're just like super wispy and I just think they are so beautiful. And I think they have a pretty long stem but you can bend them to fit into a shorter vase or wherever you want to put them. But I just think these are gorgeous. They are the absolute most realistic stem I have pretty much ever seen. So I do think these are going to sell out really fast. I will have them linked down below. If you have an at home, you can check your local store. I There was four left. I bought all, all four of mine at my store. Whether they're gonna get them back in or not, I don't know. I also don't know if these are just a stem that they have all the time or not, but um, I did pick up all four of what my store had left. Entryway reveal. I'm going for a lot moodier type of colors in the entryway. I mean, I could still add in lighter florals and stuff like that, but wood-wise, I did get a new console table. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the console table that's in the, um, the entryway now, but I did want to switch it out for a lot darker toned, like a walnut finish console table, so I ordered one from Wayfair and I moved that other one into my office, everything works out. But I'm just ready to, I'm over the super light bleached wood. Me personally, I just want to add in more rich tones. So I was looking for some wall art that wasn't necessarily a landscape because I feel like I have a million landscapes, but just a moody vintage inspired wall art. And so I found this one, this is a, um, download that I did from Etsy and I think it's just super pretty. I love the colors that it incorporates. I, you know, I don't really know like what it is. I'm going to frame it and you'll see it better in the entryway reveal. Um, but I think it's just, will be really pretty. And this is just like the kind of moody colors that I want to incorporate into that area. So this was, I think it was, $4.99 or $5.99 to download. And then I printed out a 24 by 36 at Walgreens and they had like a disc. Normally it would have been $30 to print out a poster size. It was like $19.99. And then they messed up my order a couple times. So they gave me an additional discount. So I hardly paid anything for this. Granted, I had a lot of frustration that, that from it not being ready and just them calling me then and telling me that they couldn't do it any like so it was supposed to be ready so i went in to pick it up of course it wasn't ready this happens every time i go to walgreens so they're like we'll do it now he goes but it's going to be about 20 minutes and i'm like i'll just come back later so then i leave and i get a call that says we didn't have the supplies we needed to finish it so we canceled the order so i'm like great now what i'm going to do so then i send it to another walgreens after that whole order went through, I got a call back from the other one and said, actually, we could finish it and it's ready. You can come pick it up. So then I had to call the other Walgreens and be like, disregard, I don't need that anymore. So anyways, that's long story short, I got the download on Etsy and I printed it out at Walgreens. So at Hobby Lobby, when I did the spring shopping, which I'm gonna actually incorporate that in another video because I have a lot of footage from that. So I'm gonna give you a nice full video on that. But I did pick up this 24 by 36 inch frame. That particular print, I didn't want 
matted. I think it'll just look pretty in the frame itself without a mat, but it's a really pretty dark walnut stained wood. Very, very heavy frame, excellent quality. It is normally $89.99, I would never pay that. It was 50% off, so about $45, but for this quality of a frame, I think it's beautiful, and this is actually glass, not plastic. When I was at Home Goods, um, they had quite a few coffee table books, and I've been eyeing this one before, and I've seen it on Amazon. I love decorating with coffee table books. To me, they're not just decor. I actually use them, I actually look at them, and I get a lot of inspiration from them, the plastic on the outside, but um, I gain a lot of inspiration from them and I actually use them. So to me, they're not just a decor piece. They are something that I actually genuinely like to flip through. But this is the Live Beautiful book. This binding sold me because I love the color. I love the black print, but I also like, I love the color, cover photo. So. Um, I think it'll just be beautiful to set out on the coffee table or on a console table and gain inspiration. Like that's just stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. The inside illustrations or pictures are absolutely stunning. So this was $24.99. $24 I'm not sure what the price on Amazon would be. I'll link the Amazon one. And if it's, you know, if it's more than $24.99, you can probably check your local home goods. But I highly recommend this. It says compare price of 34, so that might be what it is on Amazon. Then in that case, $24.99 is a really good deal. I saved $9, um, but it might also be on sale or it might be on Amazon for about the same price because I feel like coffee table books there, they're not that discounted, you know. So anyways, I think that this is a beautiful book, so I'll have it, the Amazon version linked down below, but if you wanna check your local home goods, you can do that. Mine only had one. I feel like coffee table books are hit or miss. I, I see other people get really beautiful books, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go there and get it, and I never can find them there. So anyways, I did pick up that coffee table book. So I decorate very minimal for Easter. I don't go all out in pastels or anything. I just do really light colors, um, wooden bunny, you know, a couple of wooden neutral bunnies and stuff. So I did pick up this bowl filler. I think these are beautiful actually. These are little wooden Easter eggs and it came with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, but I have so many, um, De decorative bowls that I set on console tables and old antique bowls and stuff. So I think that this kind of bowl filler is such a nice neutral way to tie in Easter, but in a really beautiful, sophisticated way. So I picked up those for the set of six. It was $14.99. I kind of wish I would have gotten two sets, but they had quite a few of those, so I might go back and get another one, but I just think that those are beautiful. So probably my favorite thing that I found at Home Goods, and I showed it in a clip, was that beautiful, large wall decor piece. Okay, you guys, I think that this is absolutely stunning. There is so much texture going on in this picture. So it has like the little linen area at the top. It has the plaster. It has a beveled wood, dark walnut frame. It's huge. This is big. I don't know if it gives me the size anywhere. Maybe I'll, I'll grab the tape measure in a minute and look at what the size is. But it was $79.99, which... I'm just gonna set this right here. I think $79.99 for this size wall decor is a steal because I have been looking for a large wall decor piece for the entryway. First of all, these colors are everything. They are neutral, but it ties in a tiny bit of that sage green that I always like to decorate with. This is a piece that can stay up all year because this goes beautiful in the spring and the summer with fall decor and with Christmas decor. So this is so worth it in my opinion. It's pretty, it's pretty heavy, it's pretty substantial. It's not just a lightweight canvas that has a 
most of the canvases don't have a frame where they have just like a cheap little thin wood frame. This is a nice substantial beveled edge frame around it. And so anyways, I was looking at at home for large canvas prints and they were anywhere from $99 and up. And that was just for the canvas or again, that cheap little wood frame. This is a nice substantial piece. So this is 38, 38 by 38. So I think that that is so amazing. And it says compare at $100. This is at least a $100 picture. This is absolutely my favorite piece that I have purchased in a long time and I can't wait to display it and hang it. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see the way the whole entryway comes out. But I'm really excited to get going with it, getting my new console table put together and everything. So all that will be in a video coming up within a week. Okay, so maybe I will quickly try to put that other picture in the frame and then we can kind of see the way they're, cause they're both going to be in the entryway color wise, what they look like together. Just a little side note, my favorite thing to clean glass with is 70% alcohol. It is, it is streak free and usually I will use a microfiber cloth, but right now I just have paper towels, but a microfiber cloth is even better because you don't really get any kind of lint or anything, but it just works amazing at, actually I clean everything, like countertops and everything with alcohol because it's a natural dis disinfectant and it just leaves everything streak free. It's amazing on appliances also. Haha, <laughs> there's pieces of paper towel in it. Gotta get those. Okay, you guys, there it is. I turned the ring light off. Oh, there's a little tiny piece of paper towel in there again. I'll get that out in a minute. But anyways, I think that this turned out so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I think coloring wise, it ties in beautiful with this. Like they're not gonna be right next to each other. They're just going to be in the same room. I think that they tie in so beautifully together. I think that this pulls in some of that sagey green color. I know it's a little hard to tell on camera, but I love both of these. Okay, so now we're gonna start on the buttermilk biscuits. So I had to measure out my flour earlier because I was almost out. I had like just enough pretty much to make this and to thicken the pot pie um, filling. So this is two cups of flour. We're gonna add all the dry ingredients into this bowl and then we'll put the wet ingredients in.
Okay, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. This pot pie looks amazing. I'm gonna link, I combined a couple different recipes, so I'm gonna link the biscuit recipe down in the description box as, as well as a pot pie recipe. I kind of improvised a little by using the frozen mixed veggies and just made it easier, but you'll get the gist of how to cook it. So I'm going to leave both of those recipes down in the description box. I hope you guys try them. It looks amazing. And thank you so much to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. I will see you guys in my next video. Possibly it will be my entryway makeover. I'm so excited to share it with you. Have a great day.